crazy on the glory. So just, just in your seat right now, I want to hear you just say, thank you, Lord. 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 Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Amen.
somebody from the Bible right now. It is the 150th Psalm, Psalms 150.
ministry together. Yeah. North Long Beach Christian Church has uh, been by our side since we founded the church almost three years ago. And uh, Pastor Heather has been uh, has preached, uh, allowed us to use facilities and things, and we're just grateful and thankful that uh, we are able to share tonight uh, some music from their praise band. Uh, so we're going to welcome Max and Kate to Dylan.
realize no matter what, what, what you're going through, you continue to praise the Lord. Amen. All the good in the end
Eddie Macaulay. I have so many things I want to say because I, I, I don't get to see you guys on a weekly basis. So, <laughs> um, I'm not going to ramble on too much, but I just, it's so great to be here tonight to reunite and unite and, and meet people that I haven't met before. Um, and I, you know, meeting friends and, um, uh, and I, I brought a friend here too from Idaho actually. And, uh, and so, so we're just enjoying this together. Um, Tell you a little story. Uh, on my way here, I, I, I ran. I, you know, life has this roller coaster on the way, and it's, I, I'm the type of person that likes to have uh, control and, and um, make sure everything's all right. And I was rushing over here to practice with everything, and um, I was having issues with uh, my rental car, and everything was, you know, and I just want to, be, you know, but I gotta let go of my car, you know. It's God. He's, he's got control, he'll take care of it. And that's something that, you know, I got to think about and remind myself, less of me, more of him. Um, this is great, this is great to do that. What I want to do is just invite everybody to, to allow the Holy Spirit um, to enter your hearts with the song I'm about to sing. Um, allow the Holy Spirit to just help us to discern, to help us discern the decisions that we make, to help us to just let go, and just let, let this Holy Spirit take over. Because, um, you know, that's what it's all about. You can go ahead and start the chat if you like, but I just want to pray that. So if you want to live, just the while you listen to the song, I just want to close your eyes and just let the Holy Spirit take over. And um, just allow it to bless you.
decision, granted no one in the back of the room. back home. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're blessed. You're blessed by Aggie. We love you. Thank 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 you. No, 
You're confused. I exist because I know I am flesh, blood, and bone. Just like you. No. No, I'm more than that. Yeah? Then what are you? I am a spirit. I have a soul. And I live in a body created by God to be the best I can be. But, but that's why God made you and me to be more than just flesh, bone, and blood. I'm not just a human existing. I am a human being. You're being blessed, right? You're being blessed. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> this uh, started probably, well, last year, if you were here last year, uh, if you weren't here and you want to enjoy that, it's on YouTube. Yeah. Um, video tape, everything. Okay, thanks to Paul, who's the only one here. So, we uh, Thanks. Uh, videos that you have to put some hours or two it, and we we'll post it. So this will also, you know how you go to a concert and you got to buy the CD or the DVD? You don't ask you to do that. God gives this gift to you for free. So if you see me this video, it's going to be up on the website and be up on, uh, on YouTube, thanks to, to Paul's work. Uh, Mr. Bob Clay's, uh puts a lot of time into putting these productions together. And before we move on and, and begin to, to do the things we need to do, I want to publicly thank Bob. And I know that, uh,
became so important to me. It's very simple. That was the whole song that we sang. But I have to tell you, when I was three years old, I don't know if you people, I come from Oklahoma. I come from a long ways back in the South, okay? And one thing that happened in my life at three years old, my great-grandmother took me to a revival at three. A.A. Allen. I don't know where any of y'all have ever heard of that. It was an evangelist many years ago. And she said that I danced and jumped and sang and carried on till I had 104 feet. <laughs> she said I knew right then that I fell in love with Jesus Christ. And it stayed with me. When I turned seven, eight years old, we began a little choir, us little ones. We were called the Cherub Choir. Little kids sang. And guess what? I was a very, very loud alto. And I still carry that with me today. The day that we all came to know the Lord, it was a surprise to all of us. It's like somebody took a cattle prod and just kind of poked us. We all went up because our church we had marched down the center aisle and come before the pastor. And, and they began to give you what was needed. And we were little kids. And all of us from the chair of choir, which meant 10 to 15 children, all decided we would come and join the church together. We didn't talk about it. It just happened. We just got up. We saw Johnny get up. Jimmy saw Susie get up. We all got up. And we came to the center of the aisle. And they asked us, why are you doing this? And guess what I had to say? According to my grandmother, I said, it's because I love Jesus Christ. And I waited for somebody to tell me something. That I did something wrong. But I did they know, and guess what? It stayed with me till my I'm gonna soon be 65 years old. And guess what? I love Jesus Christ.
Maybe there was a time that you were followed close, but you've kind of fallen away. He's not moved. We have. I just want to encourage you tonight to open up your heart, to reach out to Him, and allow Jesus to minister to you. As I stand here and look around, I, I, I'm not sure if we're a bunch of old friends or a bunch of friends who are just old. <laughs> But we're glad that you're here with us tonight. After we're done here tonight, we've got uh, some refreshments in the back. We uh, invite you to come and join us. A couple of things I do want to do. Uh, Ray, it's always great to see you. You know, God works in mysterious ways. So I just got to share this. Suhei is back with us tonight. Yeah. hopefully with us from now on. Amen. But I just want to share with you real quick how God works. I was pastoring in Los, Los Angeles in USC and North, uh, Nick was attending there. And Nick was faithful there and Nick came to me and said, he's going to the army. And like two or three weeks later, Suhei started attending. And after a while, she said she was going to the army. And they met someplace, Missouri, I think, ended up in New York, and they are going to be getting married next month. And then I don't want to forget Pastor Heather, um, many of the musicians. None of this would have happened if it wasn't for Bob Pipes. So this is a, a regular service for the connection. Don't worry, we're not going to pass the offering plate tonight. But in the back, for those of you that are members of the connection, uh, we have an offering box back there for your tithes and offering. Uh, those of you who are not, uh, I'm sure Pastor Heather and your pastor would appreciate you taking your tithes and offerings tomorrow morning there. So, God bless you. I hope you had a wonderful time tonight. And I've already scheduled next year's. So I just got to make sure it fits in the Bob's calendar.
praise you and let your name.